and now it looks like it's clean. Oh gosh, I'm sure you can hear that chainsaw. Oh. Hello and good morning, welcome back to the sewing room. My name is Gabrielle and today it is incredibly windy. That's the weather report with Gabrielle. Um, it is so windy today that I am using my microphone and trying to speak very softly so it only picks up my voice and not the chaos that is happening outside. There is also a chainsaw running, so I hope you cannot hear that. <laughs> Today's project was actually inspired by my poor quality sleep. Um, I work shift work, so sometimes I need a sleep in the morning because I finished very late at night. And the funny thing is, is that in our bedroom, we have this beautiful big square bay window. Love it. But there's no curtain. About two months ago, I needed some thin white cotton for a lining fabric for some skirts. And I didn't have any up in my sewing room. But I knew where I had some. So that curtain got quickly repurposed into lining fabric for skirts. And it has left us with a open window letting every piece of sunshine in. So... I was woken up at about 6.30 this morning by that lovely light glistening in and I realised it's probably time. I think it's time to commit to a curtain. A patchwork curtain. So this type of patchwork, actually a Korean patchworking style, it's called Jogekbo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And they use it traditionally to create bojagi, which is a domestic wrapping cloth made from leftover scraps of fabric, which I think is very cool. I am a scrap work queen. I love to reuse all my scraps in all ways. And I thought this would be a pretty amazing way to use up quite a large collection of scraps that I have. So I think I'm going to have to start raiding my fabrics. Let's start. I for sure got an eyelash in my eye. Oh no. Okay, so we've just finished cutting up all of our scrappy bits of fabric. That is a mouthful. Um, ignore my vegetable juice if you don't like vegetable juice. That's your problem. I love vegetable juice. Um, so what I've done with these is just cut them into mostly just like rectangles or squares. I've got some that I've left like the curve in because I want it to have that sort of like half moon, um, half circle shape, I guess you'd say. Um, and then I've cut some in triangles. So I'm gonna make like little contrasting rectangles. And yes, I've got a couple that are fabriced. <laughs> uh, I've got a couple pattern pieces in here as well. Um, I've just cut them a little bit smaller than the larger plain colored one. 
There's a tractor, hang on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna quickly talk while the tractor is stopped. Um, so I've got a few little pattern pieces in here. I've got the floral, the gingham, and then this textured seersucker. So I've just cut them in a lot smaller little strips and squares because I want the predominant curtain to be just plain, boring, um, neutral colours with just like pops, accent pops, pops of accents. So yeah, I think I have to start constructing it now, which is going to be very time consuming, but I think kind of fun. Um, and I'm going to watch some YouTube while I do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's bug in. I am so tired. Okay, so now we are up to making, <laughs> this is the most awkward stance, we are making the flat felt seams for our scrappy bits of fabric. So I am slowly working through this pile and then I think I might start piecing them out to see how big. Now my window is 116 by 107 and that's not including I'm going to do like little curtain loops for the curtain rod so I am hoping I have enough fabric cut out because I just sort of winged this so we'll find out in about an hour Um, what I've done is I've pretty pretty much put everyone in a buddy system, so everything's in little pairs now. So I've done my flat felts on all of them. I left it quite wide because I don't know, I kind of like the thicker borders. But yes, personal preference. So yes, everyone's paired up. I've sort of done like a pattern with the neutral or just done like the neutrals together or I just went crazy with that one and you know, I did two loud pieces together. So yeah, this is what I'm working with. And then I've got the bigger pieces of neutral. So I've got it in like this creamy color and this soft pink. Um, yeah, so.
started attaching it to my central piece so trying to work from like the center out which is challenging but I've got to a point where it's just getting a little tricky like I can't sew this panel on to that panel until I attach this panel to the side but then I can't attach this side until I've done this side and then I can't do this took me three hours okay 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 so it's much later in the day now it's about 3 30. my dog is barking at the wind because that's how she protects us in our land i'm having a cup of a uh, french or gray and still working on this curtain i knew it would take a very long time but, um, yeah, it's taking a very long time. I have about maybe two-thirds of it complete, maybe. I'm still working on these little, like, scrap strips sort of things and then just slowly, like, building it upon the curtain. I think I was talking about earlier that, like, trying to figure out the order in which to sew on and attach these strips is kind of turning my brain into mush but we're getting there i don't think i'm going to get this done today i'm probably going to sew for like another hour or so and then i'll come back to it tomorrow but yes let's do an hour of power and just try and get as much done as possible okay we're getting there not too much more hello and welcome back to the camper it is now day two of working on the patchwork curtain behind me and we're almost finished um i actually ended on such a high last night after about six hours of sewing yesterday it's almost done so today I just need to finish off the borders. Um, so I'm just going to do like probably just a plain white border around the whole curtain and add in all the curtain loops for the rod. And we're good. We're done. We're finally going to have a curtain in our bedroom that's going to block out some sun and allow me to sleep good. I'm just going to finish my coffee and then we will get going. way to show you but I added this little border strip to the bottom edge just to neaten it up a bit but I don't know if I like it uh it was very fiddly and I don't know if I want to keep it on there so we'll see I think I might hang it up and then make a decision I don't want to unpick it right now I just sewed it
actually gonna make. So we're all done, we're done. We completed this project. You've seen it installed in my bedroom and I am in love with the results. I am so pleased with how this has turned out. It was well worth the many hours that it was spent on it. And I am now just that little bit lighter in terms of scrap fabric. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you are an avid sewer or someone who likes to do quilting or patchwork, please let me know any tips and tricks down below in the comments because yeah, I could probably do a little bit of learning. I've been doing some patchwork for a couple years now and I still have hiccups. <laughs> okay, if you feel like liking this video, please do so. Subscribing if you feel like it and chucking a comment down below if you so please. Bye. I have to clean this all up now, but I'm gonna go make a cup of tea first.